is my land. I know you are racist, man. I don't know those stories. Take him. What is now a culture of persistent preventive and brutal arrest of different political party leaders by police is back in the spotlight. Former FDC president retired Kano Kizavesige, Kampala Lord Mayor Elias Lukwago, and Kampala Central MP Muhammad Nsereke are among politicians who have on several occasions been put under house arrest. MPs describe it as an illegal act and violation of human rights. This is what is called preventive arrest and it is wrong. It is a wrongful act according to the laws of Uganda. The constitution in Article 212, subsection C, it gives us the mandate to detect and prevent crime. So when we detect the possibility of a crime occurring, we definitely come in. The House Committee on Human Rights, chaired by Mtoma Oman MP Chova Kamateka, has now summoned Internal Affairs Minister Geno Aronda Nyakairima and Inspector General of Police Geno Karikaihura to explain these excesses by security agencies. Uh, these two departments will be coming before this committee to explain the issues of, uh, of these happenings. The lawmakers also want Kaihura to bring to book all police officers who were seen beating people at Kampala Capital State Authority on Monday. It seems that eight months of training, they don't train them on human rights. I'm offering 100 million to the police force to go for refresher training on human rights. Let the police investigate these events and uh, find out members of their forces who were involved in human rights abuses and deal with them according to the law. The people who were at KCCA were commanded by a one Ruhwes. I think before we ask anyone, before we ask Kaihura, before we ask Alonda, we should be able to bring Ruhwes here. The investigations are on. We want to find out whether really police officers were part of, of this act and whoever will be found to have participated will definitely be subjected to action. Separately, the Katikiro of Uganda, Charles Peter Maika, has also condemned the police's conduct. If anyone feels aggrieved by any order of court, he or she has the right to appeal to a court of higher jurisdiction. And that doesn't call for violence or use of physical force. Parliament instituted a committee to investigate police brutality, but the report has not yet been made public. These MPs now want Parliament Speaker to ensure that the report on police brutality is released. Agnes Nandutu, NTV Parliament.